dear YouTubers and welcome to this new video. Here I'm going to show you how to set up the hat switch on your controller, in my case the flight yacht system, so you can move around and look around the cockpit freely. I'm actually using the mouse to do it here, but how can you set up your hat switch to do it? I recently released a video showing how to set up the flight yacht system and in that video I asked a question from my viewers and subscribers to see if they could figure out how to set the hat switch so you could look around the cockpit freely like this. Again I'm using the mouse to do this currently but I'm going to show you it is possible to do. Now by default you would have this kind of view where you would click left and it would stay left or you would have to hold the hat switch left to look left. In my case I've got it on toggle, I'll move it right, release my hat switch, click it again I can go back to centre. People want to actually have the hat switch to look around freely like this. So let's get to it. The way to do this you would click escape and go to your control settings. Make sure you've got this filter set to show all. All it's showing at the moment are the assigned buttons. Oh, you want to make sure you're actually on your flight yacht system. That's a good start. Right, select your controller, in my case a flight yacht system. Make sure you have the filter set to all, so it's showing all assignments, even the unassigned. Click on the camera and then click on cockpit camera. Now you're going to have various assignments that you can set up here. The ones we're interested are the cockpit views. Now first thing you want to do is clear those quick views. The quick views are the ones I just showed you where if you click the button it will look like left, right, etc. So, so go to your cockpit quick view settings, click on them and clear the current input and validate for every one of them. So I'm going to clear them all. Clear the quick view right and quick view left. So I'm going to clear all of them, validate. I might as well apply and save those settings that I've done so far. And now what you want to do, instead of the quick view, you want to actually go up to cockpit left. So not quick view. So here, for example, cockpit left, click on that, select input. I'm going to use my hat switch left for that. It's going to say it's already assigned by default. It's assigned to the external view as well. Don't worry about that. Just, just click validate there. Cockpit, cockpit look right. So I'm using my hat switch right for this. So I'll click in the box here and go hat switch right. And again, it's assigned to the external view. Don't worry about that for the moment. Cockpit look up. So obviously I'll click in this box here and click my hat switch up switch. And validate and cockpit down. There you go, cockpit look down. Click on that, click in the box and click my hat switch down key and validate. Now you do have things like cockpit locked down right. I find this quite fiddly to do. I've not quite figured out a way to do it. If I click in this box and click down right on my hat switch, generally it will say it's a sign because it's actually picking up the right movement of the hat switch. So I'll cancel that. If you can figure out a way to do that, then good for you. It doesn't really matter actually. Once you've got those basic ones, the left, right, up, down set. And what I do recommend is that you have a button set on your controller to reset your cockpit view. Because it can be fiddly to get it exactly centred. But now you've got those sets, what you want to do is apply and save. Go back to the sim. And now you'll find that you can actually look around your cockpit naturally using your hat switch gradually and in increments to look around the cockpit. So there you go, that's how you do it. Like I say, it's good to have a button 
set to actually recenter your cockpit view so you get back to the center perfectly. It can be a bit bit fiddly to get exactly back to the center view, but just have a button assigned for that like I showed you. And there you go, that's how you do it. Now, actually, for me personally, I prefer those quick view buttons where if you just click left, you 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 look left quickly and automatically. Same for right. I mean, this works to an extent, but like I say, I'm looking to set up my D-Line clip, my track IR units, so I can just look around the cockpit naturally anyway. But there you go, there's a solution for it. Let me know your thoughts, give the video a like if you liked it, and subscribe for more. I'll see you soon.